so you guys you guys i want to bring out this video on lienzo ball just because i haven't updated you guys on him in quite a while in about a month or two the last two videos i made on lienzo ball was one of them i remember i was talking about his rap career because he dropped a new song with this certain rapper and also before that i made a video talking about the situation with him competing in the g league bubble so this video we're just going to talk about lienzo ball let's go over what's going on with him currently and let's just talk about everything and just to let you guys know today is my birthday so show your boy some love i woke up this morning and i honestly didn't even know i was going to record this video but i felt good to record one so i was just like why not let's just go ahead and record a video this morning before i start off my birthday so yeah before i start this video make sure you guys go follow me on instagram at underscore the only wallace and also go subscribe to my second channel called 10k wallace vlogs now let's get to the video so first you guys let's just talk about lienzo ball and his pops lavar now if you guys do not know lienzo is currently at the big baller brand mansion with his dad lavar and his mom tina of course and not too long ago he posted some pictures on his instagram basically they got a new gate at the big baller brand mansion i'm not 100 sure on where the gate is at just because they live in a mansion of course and it's really really big but they posted some pictures and you know they got some stuff done to the crib which is really really dope and i also saw another picture it was showing lienzo ball's garage it had the g3 logo i'm not sure on what part of the crib his side is on but that is crazy just look at this picture you guys yo that is so dope that looked like his own little mini crib and i wouldn't be surprised if that is his own mini crib because i remember watching some episodes on ball and the family they had like a little guest house and stuff so you never know that's probably where lienzo ball is staying he got a two-car garage you know i see a truck in there it don't look like it's his truck but as you can see he got room to fit all his cars and that just looked like a little big spot right there but man i just had to point that out because that's dope i saw his logo right above the garage yo that is so raw man lienzo is doing his thing you already know his pops lavar is going to take care of him he going to make sure lienzo is going to live his best life regardless him being in the league or not this is really really dope i can't lie now let's move forward so like i said it was getting some stuff done to the crib and lienzo decided to snap up some pictures for the ground and i believe his pops lavar took those pictures and just look at lienzo though. he looks really happy just doing his thing living his life so i'm very happy for him i'm glad he's in good spirits and even before he posted these pictures i was just watching lienzo on snapchat and stuff and he was just posting different videos just showing people what he was doing and honestly he just been doing his own thing you guys and that's why i haven't really been making videos on him because you know he just really haven't been doing nothing at all i've been seeing him in the gym a little bit but knowing lienzo ball he's not going to show everybody that he's in the gym every day some days he might post a picture and stuff but i know he's been in the gym recently i screen recorded some of the footage i could find of him just shooting around and stuff and people also was taking pictures of him when they see him in public so lienzo he's just been out there doing his thing like i said and of course he's with his pops lavar lavar been mentoring his son lienzo forever and you already know he's going to make sure lienzo ball is going to get to league eventually in my opinion i feel like they're just waiting on what's the next step for lienzo such as they might be waiting for next year because we all know the playoffs is coming around the g league season is done and honestly in my opinion i really feel like they probably just trying to figure out what team lienzo ball can play for probably during the summer league or they might wait till next season to see if you can get like a two-way contract or something because I feel like that's the next step for Lienzo Ball is getting a two-way contract. And I know a lot of people still got questions about his situation in the G League. Because a lot of people was expecting him to compete in the G League bubble. But as you can see, he was not drafted in the G League this year. And he also was not invited to the bubble when social media basically lied to everybody saying that Lienzo Ball signed to the G League bubble. But they never said what team he signed to. And I made a whole video talking about that situation. It was titled, Lienzo Ball got kicked out of the G League bubble. And I really feel like he did get kicked out of the G League bubble because they were saying that he signed to the bubble. Then out of nowhere, we heard nothing about Lienzo Ball signing to a team. Then someone sent me a private document talking about, you know, Lienzo Ball being blackballed. And, you know, he basically 
was not able to get drafted in the G League bubble because of his situation that happened in UCLA. And honestly, you guys, when I first heard that, I wasn't 100% sure if it was legit or not, but I still decided to make a video. I know when I look at my comments during that video, a lot of people say it's clickbait, it's not true and all that. But honestly, in my opinion, I'm really starting to feel like that's really, really true. Because when you think about it, Lienzo Ball did not get to play in the G League when they said that he was going to play. And on top of that, I know you guys remember his former teammate, Jalen Hill. I think he still played for UCLA. Basically, Jalen Hill decided to enter the NBA draft. Jalen Hill was part of the situation at UCLA, you know, when he got in trouble with Lienzo Ball and Cody Riley. It was all three of them, right? I know you guys remember the situation. But basically, Jalen Hill is not playing basketball no more. He decided to retire from basketball. And I feel like the reason why he decided to make that decision is because of the backlash he's still getting from that incident that happened when they was in China. And it's still a really big stain on his name, including Cody Riley. And as you can see, Lienzo Ball. Lienzo is the most known guy out of all of them, and he still can't even get an opportunity. And when I mean opportunity, I'm talking about a real opportunity because I really feel like a lot of people in these teams, they're just giving Lienzo Ball a quote unquote chance just because of his name and it's helping them get clout, such as the Detroit Pistons. We all know that situation that happened with the Detroit Pistons. They signed him to a non guaranteed contract, then right before the season even started, they cut him off the team. They didn't even let him play not one minute during the preseason. Not one minute. Let's talk about the OKC Blue situation. You know, when he was in the G League before the virus happened and all that stuff. So basically, when he signed to the OKC Blue, at first he was a practice player. Then they finally allowed him to play with the team for the remainder of the season. Then the first game that he was supposed to play against the Stockton Kings, they had him sitting on the bench the entire game. And they had his name on the box score, but tried to lie to the people saying that Lienzo Ball is not eligible to play right now and all that stuff. But check this out, his name was in the box score even before the game even started. Earlier during that day, they had it all hyped up. They had Lienzo Ball's picture, you know, as the cover photo for the game. I remember they had Lienzo Ball's picture for the OKC Blue and Kyle Guy's picture for the Stockton Kings because you know how it is with the two best players on the team. They're gonna use their face as the cover photo and they use Lienzo Ball's face. But right when the game started, he was nowhere to be found. This man was literally on the bench, rocking his legs back and forth, just waiting to play because I guess he was expecting himself to play. But of course they lied to him and also to the fans just to get people in the seats and all that stuff. And also same thing with Detroit. I remember when they made that billboard after Lienzo signed that non-guaranteed contract, they made a billboard talking about some welcome Lienzo. Try to make it seem like he was like the new star player to play for Detroit and all that stuff. Then literally a day or two later, he gets waved off the team. So I guess they took down the billboard as well. You know, just using his name for clout. It is so crazy, man. Like, oh my God. I just want him to get a real opportunity, you guys, because it's so sad. This man, Lienzo, entered his name in the 2018 NBA draft. He's supposed to be in his third year in the NBA, about to enter his fourth year. And look what he's still going through it's crazy but right now he's with his pops i know lavar and him is trying to figure things out hopefully the next step he can play in a summer league or something i'm not 100 sure if they're going to have a summer league most likely they will but he needs to get in the summer league so he can get like a two-way contract and start off next season with an nba team but i want you guys to leave your comments and opinions below on how y'all feel about this i thank you guys for watching if you make sure you like subscribe make sure you press the notification button take a game we out so y'all it's your boy jello on cameo now with the fam so tap in man you don't want to miss no action i'm telling you just bang my line if y'all need you know uh birthdays gender reveals pep talks you feeling bad need somebody to talk to tap in you know the deal i'm gonna get you right the g3 way